Hi everyone, Greg here. Now, today I'm going to show you how to cook a whole chicken using a saucepan. Now, I've done this quite a few times, and I'll tell you what, it is so easy, it's so quick, it's super simple, and it tastes awesome. So let me show you how to do it. Now, some of the things you'll need is a big saucepan, something that you can fit a chicken into with a bit of space at the bottom, because you'll also need something like this that goes inside the saucepan, which keeps the chicken up off the bottom of the saucepan because we're putting some water in here and we're gonna be steaming the chicken. So you need some space in the bottom for the water to do its thing. So let's do that while I prepare the chicken. So we'll just put water in to just below the steamer here. So we'll put that on there, turn the heat right up and get that starting to steam. I might even put the lid on so it starts warming up a lot faster. Now in Asia they call this an emperor's chicken and you can just buy these packets from your local Asian shop. And inside here they have some of the rub that you rub on the outside of the chicken and it also comes with some alfoil here lined with some baking paper. So just grab yourself some aluminium foil and some baking paper. If you're doing it in your own kitchen and you don't have this packet, I'll take this chicken out of its casing here. Here, chook, chook, chook. Ah! And we'll just put that in the middle of the owl foil. And now here, I'm just using the packet that they've supplied. You could rub some garlic or lemon or salt and pepper or whatever you want. You get some Nando's jar of chili spices and pour that over the top if you want. But this Emperor's Chicken Sachet gives it a really nice flavor. It's pretty good actually. So you just need to put it on the chicken and rub it in. So rub it all through and all over the whole chicken. Pretend you're putting sun lotion or something all over the chicken. Turn it over, do both sides. Once that's done, we just need to Fold the foil around the chicken. And now you just need to put this in the saucepan and let it steam for one and a half to two hours. <laughs> How easy is this? So it's already started to steam a little bit. So we just need to put the chicken in there. Put the lid back on. So that's really boiling away now. So I'll turn that right down to like one and just let that simmer away. Just cook it for one and a half to two hours. You could even cook it a little bit longer and the longer you leave it and cook it for, the more tender it gets. So, but one and a half hours is fine. I've done it one and a half hours a few times and it turns out it's perfectly cooked by that stage. So I'll just let that simmer away for one and a half, two hours and I'll come back and show you the end result. This is the one I'm using today, Emperor Chicken. Tastes pretty good, I like it. Now I've never had any problems with the water evaporating out at all, but you might just want to keep some hot water on hand just in case, just to top it up if it does happen. All right, well it's been about an hour and 45 minutes. So let's take a look at the chook. Oh yeah, that looks absolutely top shelf. Now underneath the chicken, there's quite a lot of juices there. Perfect to make a gravy with. Well, let's take a look at this chicken here. Did you see that juice just come out there? Just pour juices. Okay, let's just cut this. You can see how beautifully cooked that is all the way through. It's juicy as anything and the taste Mmm, absolutely awesome. So there you go, that's how you cook your own chicken at home and how easy is it? So now all you need to do is think of what you're going to put on your chicken. What are you going to put on your chicken? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. Oh yeah, this is Greg.